pretty microwave. We have a cup for coffee, um, a boiler, some Japanese, I don't know, advertisements. I don't know what the fuck this is for. We've got a TV, which I don't even know if it works. Plus, a Vodshock. I don't know. This, I've been wearing this for the past fucking 24 hours, bro. And now, to shock everybody, right? It's a pretty simple, small place. But this, right here, is the toilet. This is where the magic happens. Oh, shit. Dude. <laughs> okay. And this is uh, the things. And this is me. We've got some towels over here. This is a toilet paper for our toilet. Here is the truth. Okay. We do not have any magical buttons. Please flush toilet paper only. Sure. Is this how you flush it? Wait. Oh, yes. Honestly, this is insane. I didn't know that I could shave here. What the fuck? Why is it flushing so long, bro? Hey. Stop. Oh, you have to stop it as well. Oh, cool. Foam soap with royal jelly. This is whatever this is. And this is our bath. It's a pretty small thing, but it looks very comfortable. And I put this in and I can just have a ofuro, which is pretty fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. And here's where I shower with. Is it? Oh shit, I, yeah, look, bidet. We do actually have some buttons. Tomaru, shower, wide, on and off. I don't know what the fuck that is. Toilet paper, not so much. Pretty much, if you just literally came in, you have the TV, you have the table. Uh, this is a cooler, if I'm not wrong. Um, and here's the bed. So this is all the space. Here I can see, put like the, the te temperature, which is pretty cool. Dark bright. Oh shit. So I can control it. This is nice. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. I haven't like recorded much because as soon as I came to Poland to the airport, um, I've seen a Japanese couple and I decided to approach them with my Japanese knowledge and I talked to them a little bit and yeah, they were going to Narita, the, the same place I was going to. It was pretty cool and I basically made friends along the way. Um, what happened technically I waited for my taxi driver and Abe-san, Kyoe-san, uh, was very, very nice to me. He, he asked me if I wanted to go to Nikko, which is a small place two hours outside of Tokyo. Uh, so in Monday, probably, I'll be going to Nikko with him. And he asked me if I want to go to Nagoya um, to see Mount Fuji because he wants to go... Um, see Mount Fuji and uh, he asked me if I want to join but I don't want to go because he only has one apartment uh, I don't want to book another hotel and then just go back um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go visit him and Nico I don't know I still haven't made any plans I literally came in with, with zero plans I didn't even want to record in the airports because this is my first flight and everything I'm pretty tired literally really tired right now it was insane but the thing is, I don't know, I feel very empty and it doesn't feel real. Maybe I just don't appreciate it enough. But um, yeah, tomorrow when I wake up in the morning, it's gonna be way better. The good thing is that I've learned a little bit of Japanese so I can, you know, communicate with the people, but bro, no fucking buddy speaks English. Ego, zero, none, not existent. So yeah, I was very surprised. But yeah, anyways, um, I don't know. And I think I'm going to sleep very, very good tonight.